My ears really freaking hurt because I've had this headset on my head for like the past three and a half hours. There we go. Good thing that guy called out because I, I wasn't even looking at my map. I would have missed him. Okay. Oh. I do? Wait, really? I just came here for the contract. Oh. Wait, is this where I am or is this the other one? This has to be the other one. Bye-bye. Okay, not a good place to do this. Let's hide first. There he is. I spotted him. Carved jade, you say? Huh. Interesting. I think this man's death. Lucky me. You have an issue, there, bud? Oh no. Oh no. Can you guys go, please? I can't move while you're staring at me. Did you shut up, sword? Shut the hell up. Thank you. Oh, that is not what I wanted to do at all. That is not- Edward! Fine. Fine. Come here. Come on here. Ow. Shut the hell up. Hi. You're adorable. I wanted to double assassinate them from up the tree, but Edward disobeyed my orders. He can't hear me. Which way is he coming? Away, so I can sneak and stab. Can I hide the tents? Oh, I can do this. Oh, that's a mistake. Oh, Jesus. Not doing that. Nope. Uh, okay, hold on. I need to back off for a second and evaluate the situation. <laughs> I'm running into things. Okay, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, I think I have an idea. I have an idea. Oh, he found the body. Oh well. Once he lays off for a minute. Because I don't want him to walk back and see what I'm about to do. Oh, bitch. Surprise! Yeah. Okay, I got him. And I was detected, so... No extra thingy majig, but... Not exactly what I was planning. Oh. 
I thought I could throw the smoke bombs long range. I had that all planned out, and I held Y there because I thought I could aim and throw, but I didn't. <laughs> Oops. Oops! I'm gonna clear out this island. Nobody saw a goddamn thing. Yeah, go over and investigate the body of your buddy. You can join him. Alright. This island is crawling with baddies. Uh... What do I do? Huh? Oh my goodness! So many bad things! Surprise, motherfucker! Oops, I meant pistol. Alright. Well, I just wasted all my smoke bombs. Think I have two left? Yeah. Okay. Oh! Scab! Ah! Funny. You're funny. Right to the balls. <laughs> uh, that was unnecessary. I apologize. I bet every Every guy who's watching my video right now just kind of, ooh, just like cringed. <laughs> Cringe? That's a word. Alright. I think I have cleared the island. Oh, hello. Have I looted this already? Well, there has to be treasure here somewhere. Because... the Because the game said so. Let's see. Let's get that viewpoint. Which is right here. Oh, it's up there. Okay. It's beautiful. Okay. Well, that was a leap of faith if I ever saw one. <laughs> Wait, Abaco Island? Is that where I am? Hold on a minute. Oh, I'm back on Abaco Island and I didn't even know about it. Well, how's that? Alright, it's above my head. It's right there. So... Ah! Here we go. Get up there. Not like that. Thank you. Ah, ah, ah. Please be careful. Leap of faith! Alright, got one. Where is the other one? The other one is... Directly forward. In the butt. Sorry. Oh, and I found a message in a bottle. Okay. All right. Looks like we need to conduct another leap of faith thingy. But duh. okay, we're not climbing up there. Oh! More guards. Okay, just be careful. Got it! 
I want to kill some people. Oh, yeah. How'd you see? How'd you see with your back to me? That's impressive. But now you're dead, so I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, they're coming to investigate. All right, fine. Come here. Come here. I dare ya. Yep. No, 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 no. Shoot it, shoot the barrel. I was gonna shoot the barrel while the ocelot was next to it and be cool, but nope. Oh, wow. You are a harsh fighter, sir. You are definitely a Kenway. Just let me say that right now. Aw. Oh, wow. You're really dead. Seven four nine six two five in front of the big boulder. Okay. Let's take a look at my other maps and see what I've got here. Four four two one eighteen. Six oh six eight three five. Six oh six eight three five. Oh wow, it is like right here. All right. <laughs> Peter Beckford the Elder. Ooh. Of my employer, I must say something, for it was owing to his connections. That's a way to spell connections. That I came to find such troubled dealings. Peter Beckford was a man of great charisma and pride. In 1662, he had come to Jamaica, and in just ten years, he had fast procured himself a sizable portion of land, which he sowed with cane- Damn it! Cane as early as he was able. Upon my coming into his orbit, he owned, claimed all about him, one of the largest private holdings of land in all the world, rivaling only kings and emperors for his largest- lar Largest, say. Lar whatever. This name surplus applied to the number of slaves in his employ. Oh. Whereas he had arrived in Jamaica with a complement of three, he now owned the better part of three hundred. What the hell? A shrewd and relentless man of business, Mr. Beckford was known also to be a subservient to a temper of cyclonic power. Wrath and fury and en enmity. Don't know that word. <laughs> were his primary means of settling arguments that could not be concluded with Mr. Beckford's immediate favor. He was, however, always kind to me and as gracious a man as one could hope an employer to be. But this I put down to my status in his eyes. He was a traditional man with a respect for rank and breeding. In earlier times, he had been the governor de facto of the island. And though a statesman no longer upon my arrival, he still bore all the signs of a man who felt, felt it in his natural duty to lead. Further, his political connections he valued as deeply as his sugar and the money it brought him. And it was in his capacity, following the arrival of a Spanish soldier, that I met the man who would change my life for the worse. Forever. A young man named Laureano Torres. Okay, that is kind of a spoiler. Kind of, for those of you who don't know. But historically, Laureano de Torres becomes governor of Spain. And governor of Havana, pretty much. Historically, that's who that guy is. This looks promising. It would be over here, I think. Yeah, it's here. It would be within the trees. Somewhere in here, wouldn't it? Right here! I found it! These really big boxes. Prepare for it. Ow. Four thousand reals. Excellent. Okay. One more treasure map, I think. Oh no, we have two. Uh, seven four nine six two five. I think this one's closer. 
74965. All right, we have to go back to Salt Lagoon. All right, we're back here in Salt Lagoon. Way to swing on the rope, dude. All right. I've already 100% in this place. But I just need to find the treasure. It's behind the windmill, wherever that is. Oh, I'm probably looking at the wrong goddamn map. That'd be a thing. Okay, so it's behind a gigantic boulder, which is this right here. It faces the interior of the island, so it would be. God damn it, controller! Whoa, what the? That was impressive. To Whoa! Freaking reindeer. It's not Christmas time yet. Can I find it? <laughs> Please, where is it? It is up here. There's a big boulder right at the top next to a bunch of trees with a stream. Here's the stream. Thingy majig. There's the boulder. Why can't I find it? It's getting dark. I still haven't found this goddamn treasure yet. <laughs> Oh my god, it should not be this difficult. And it probably isn't. I'm gonna, like, kick myself in my own nose when I find this thing. It should be right here. Oh, it is right here! I found it! Finally! How many times did I run over it before I finally figured it out? I got a plan and 3,000 real. Serpent- <gasps> Oh, serpent figurehead. That would only be a little bit awesome. And I want- I want it. But okay, the next treasure map is 442-118 behind the windmill. 442-118. Oh my goodness. It's all the way in hard territory. So we're not even gonna bother with that. <laughs> okay. Well then. I think that'll do for this episode. Or this session, I guess. This will be multiple episodes, I bet. Of Black Flag Shenanigans. So, I hope you guys are enjoying. Leave a like if you are. Subscribe if you want to see an episode 5. And I will see you in my Let's Play of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, and in the next episode of Black Flag Shenanigans. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I've never recorded for this long before. I'm at 3 hours and 53 minutes, oh my lord. Alright, I gotta go to bed now, because <laughs> it's 11.30. Farewell, friends.